Okay, guys, in this episode, Todd Van Langen is going to be talking about eye relief. Hey everybody, welcome back. Todd Van Langen here, Long Range Ambassador for Beretta USA, representing Saco and Tika. We're going to talk a little bit on uh, your eye relief on your optic to ensure that so you get the most accuracy and it's, it's the most comfortable and hopefully you can avoid stamping yourself in your face with the gun. And our uncle thought it was funny to let us shoot the 30-06 or whatever and you put your eyeball right on the scope and you pulled the trigger and then you walked around with a ring around your eye for the next week like an idiot. That's one way to learn how to get your eye relief proper. Uh, the other way is to just kind of pay attention to this and set your gun up properly. We have the scope loose right now as you can see I can move it pretty easily. Um, it's got a little tension on it along with the eye relief then we're going to also have to re-level it to make sure the crosshairs are level. If you put your eye all the way up to it and then come back from the scope you will notice that what you see is a little tiny picture with a big dark ring around it. That picture will get bigger and bigger and bigger until it's perfectly clear inside the scope all the way around with no black. And then as you go back farther, it'll start doing the same thing again. The black will start to close in until you know, you're know you all the way back and it looks like you're looking down a toilet paper roll. The ideal sight picture that you want to have is where you have a crisp, 100% clean picture uh, a, a view through the scope it, it, it fills up the entire tube your eye can see the entire tube all the way around with no shading on any side mount the gun naturally like you would do it and you bring the scope to your eye you don't want to go to the scope if that that's how you get stamped in the eye and that's how like it just leads to, to to crappy accuracy and everything else so you mount the gun like i'm doing and that's just however your natural point of you know however your cheek rest is gonna, is gonna be on there, if it's like this or what, whatever it may be that you're comfortable with, keep doing it a couple times and that way you know what's natural. So now that I figured out this is natural, I'm gonna look down my optic. It's got a little bit of shading. So what I'm gonna do now that my, uh, you notice I have my tool in my hand cause I'm gonna need it. Okay, go forward just a little bit and that is giving me right there is a crisp clean circle. The entire tube is one big field of view. There's no shading whatsoever. All right, I got it right where I want it. Now, without moving it, I'm just gonna take, and I'm gonna tighten at least one down so it doesn't slide anymore. Now it's not gonna move anymore. I don't have to worry about it going. And what I, what I usually do at this point is I'll take a paint marker and I'll put just a little tick mark on the ring and on the scope so I know exactly where my eye relief will be set on that. And it's also, most guns you can adjust down on the, the way the, the rings mount to the rifle and where it's mounted on the, on the tube of the optic. So with this, with this rifle in particular, as you can see, we, we don't have a very large uh, purchase of area to move the rings. So we have to move this, the scope inside the ring. Now that I have my eye relief set, as I would either go outside or do uh, a way I set it up in here and do uh, set uh, level my crosshair so the scope is level with the gun. And that's it, guys. That's all there is to setting your eye relief. Uh, I'm Todd Van Langen, Long Range Ambassador for Breda USA, representing Saku and Tika. Remember, there's no such thing as advanced shooting, just the fundamentals mastered. Iron sights are some sighting system on your pistol is pretty much a necessity. So a lot of your pistols these days, some of them are actually coming with good steel sights, just like this Beretta APX here has some good metal sights that are on it. They're gonna be really robust. You, you need to know a little bit about, if you need to zero it a little bit, if you need to change it one way or the other, you need to have the right tools to do that. But it's a pistol, it's a combat sight, it works out pretty good. These steel sights are really robust. They can handle a beating and do pretty much anything. There's a lot of other companies out there, a lot of other pistols out there that may not come with the best sights in the world. It's, I mean, it's just, just the nature of the beast. You may get a model that just doesn't have uh, good sights on them. Some models have great sights on them. But sometimes you'll get these plastic sights, which they will work, but I can't tell you how many times I will look at someone else's Glock or pistol or any a type of pistol that they haven't changed out and gone to metal sights and they'll have a divot in the, in the sight. The front sight will be bent over or something of that nature. So it's a good idea to go out and invest in a good set of metal sights for your pistol if you're gonna run strictly irons. There, a lot of sights out there these days have, you'll have a fiber optic front sight and blacked out rear sight, or you'll have uh, glowing sights on the front and the back. It's all in what you prefer. Whenever you go to mount them, make sure you abide by the manufacturer's recommendations on mounting them and make sure you have the right tools to do it so you're not messing up your sights 
or your weapon. These things sometimes if you uh, like if you get a set of night sights and you've got a tritium vial in there you got to be careful with installing it because if you get a little bit too rough with it you may damage that tritium vial and it loses its its glow pretty quickly. So just make sure you invest in a good set of sights for your pistol if you've come if you bought purchased it and it just has some some plastic sights on it get a good set of irons for it whether it be tritium with the glow in the dark aspect of it or it be fiber optic in case you want to you know you have a front sight that's fiber optic or rear sight that's fiber optic or it's totally blacked out it's completely up to you